since the splines are the ones that control the the spine what we need to do is we need to work with those and we're going to set what's called clusters on those and the first thing that we're going to do is these icon handles are kind of out of hand so we're just going to go up here to display down to animation down to icon handle size and I'm going to bring those down a bit so I can just drag this drag this slider down and that's pretty good that's workable so it's not an eyesore anymore and I'm just going to close this and now I can finish up some other parts for the spine and for the first part of the spine on the back section I'm just going to select in my outliner the back spline that's probably the easiest way to select it I'm going to go up here to component mode you can hit F8 or click on this little icon up here and you're going to see that we have CVs in there now we can select these CVs but it might be kind of difficult so one of the easiest ways to work with this is to come over to the right at the very top for our mask selections click on this select hull components and you can see the hull allows it to kind of pop out a little bit so we can easily or more easily select these Okay. and the CVs or control vertices are NURBS objects that's why we have to go to component mode and select hull and that'll pop this out because the NURBS object is kind of showing like a linear path in this case that's what a hull can be and that is just for the spline purposes not for modeling so what I'm going to do here is I could tap the up arrow to jump down you're going to see that when I had selected this thing this one right here tap the up arrow it jumps down to the bottom CV. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to select this other CV and these are the two bottom CVs because there's actually four of them in here. There's one right here, one right here, those two are going to be the top and there's one here and there's one down here, those two are going to be the bottom. Okay, We're going to use what we call cluster deformers. So we do have to be in the animation menu set which is F2 on your keyboard or come up here and drop this down, click on that once we're in animation we can go up to create deformers and you're going to see that we have a cluster I'm going to go to the option box reset the tool so edit reset and the envelope should be at one relative to zero and with those two those two CVs selected we can make a cluster a cluster being a cluster of CVs in this case so I'm going to click create just like that and I have a cluster now I'm going to rename that right away. It comes to the bottom of my outliner, so if you guys do accidentally deselect it, you can come to the outliner, go to the bottom, click it, name it there, or when it's first created, you can see our channel box pops it up. And I'm going to call it Back Bottom Cluster. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make a cluster for the two, the two CVs at the top. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go back to Back Spline, click on it, come up here, maybe go to object mode and then back to component mode. See at the top here, so object mode, back to component mode. And that'll make these visible once again, our CVs. Okay. I'll select one, I'll type the down arrow this time so it jumps up to select this one instead. And that's called pick walking, don't forget about that. Hold down shift and click on the other. And now I have the two CV selected for the back top. I'm going to do the same thing by creating a deformer for those so that we can control them both at one time. Go to create deformers down to cluster and I will rename this back bottom cluster. Oops. Change that. I'm mean, sorry, back top cluster. I don't know what I'm thinking here. Back top cluster. And there we go. Now we're going to do the same thing to the neck. So basically, if I come over here and I select the next spline, because remember the spline is what's driving these joints, I'm going to add some clusters onto the two bottom ones and the two top ones. So to do that real quick, I will go up to this section here. So I can go to component mode. I mean, from component mode to object mode, back to component mode. That's going to show my CVs. So I'll select one. I'll type the up arrow, which moves it down. So you can see that, that one's selected. I'll hold down shift and I'll click on this other one. 
These ones are kind of hard to see, but you can kind of see them in yellow there. Okay. With the two bottom ones selected, we're going to go up to Create Deformer, down to Cluster. And right away, I'm going to name this. Now, this is the neck bottom cluster, so let's call it that. I'll do the same thing to the neck top. So I'll select the next line, come up here to object mode, back to component mode, and again you can hit F8 to go between the two. So you're seeing up here when I hit F8, it's jumping between object mode and component mode. Again, F8. And now I can select the top clusters for the, the neck, and I will tap the down arrow this time to jump from this one to pick walk to the top. So I don't have to worry about selecting that with the IK handle there and a joint. Okay, Hold down shift and I'm going to select the other the other CV and I'll come up this way to create deformers and create another cluster and name that right away to neck top cluster. A quick test on the clusters, we can just select them here, and you're going to see that I have the top one selected in my outliner. If I hit W to get my move tool, when I move this, it's going to be able to move the neck. Okay, Like this, like that, rotations. And you're going to see that it's moving smoothly, these joints. Okay, The bottom ones, we're not going to animate or anything like that. We're going to parent those to these joints here in a sec and I'll show you which ones but I'm gonna get the back top cluster right here and I'll show you that if we rotate it it's gonna update our spine don't worry about the head at, at the at moment because we're gonna change that and right here if we had more joints in here it would move more smoothly right through here okay so we're gonna make some we're going to make some handles or manipulators like this for the top cluster of the neck up here and the spine down here. But first, we need to take these neck bottom cluster and the neck bottom cluster right there is going to be parented to this, this joint right here. Um, it says spine 5 in your notes, but it's going to be the joint that is teeing off. And the T means where the arms are coming out, so like this. So it makes a T, okay? So I will shift select that joint, like this. Oh, and I have them hidden somehow or unselectable, so... Oh, no. I'm still in component mode up here. So go to object mode, shift select that joint, and I'm just selecting the bone. It does select the joint, so you'll see spine 5 right here. I just labeled it spine 5. I don't really have five spine joints or right in here. So I just did that for note purposes. And I'm gonna parent the neck bottom cluster to spine five. So I could either hit P on my keyboard or go up to edit down to parent like that. And it's gonna tell me here that the cluster was grouped to make the transformations friendly and leave the option open for the attributes of this cluster itself, okay? We don't want it to be called group one, so we're going to change that name right away. We're going to call it neck bottom cluster group. I, I like to put capital GRP. You can type out group if you like. Come over here to the outliner, hit F. It's going to be right in there, okay? You're going to see that it's parented to spine five, so if you follow the branch down, there it is. And we just have to do the same thing here to the back bottom cluster. But we're going to take that back bottom cluster and we're going to parent it to the hips. So if you'd like to select it here in your outliner, I'll just hold down control, click on the hips like that because the hips are going to move everything so it'll allow the spine to come with. And I'll either hit P on my keyboard or go up to edit down to parent. And it's going to give us the same saying down here. I, I missed it. but you get that same saying that it grouped the cluster okay and we need to change this group name to back 
bottom cluster group. Okay. And in your notes, it's going to tell you to lock and hide the back bottom cluster group because we're not going to animate those. I'm going to leave them open for now. Once again, you're going to want to go and do this at the end of this rigging. I do suggest that you guys leave a lot of this stuff unlocked and such and unhidden. That way you guys, if you need to make any changes, you can just come in here, delete things, change them, whatever, and it's not such a horrible process to have to unlock and unhide things, okay? So I'm going to leave you off right here, and when we come back, we're going to make some controllers for this and also add some attributes to those controllers.